Hey everybody, welcome back to Jeff Bull Central. This is going to be kind of a, a mixed media video game video for you uh, today. I've been playing around with the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest is a great little piece of hardware. For the first time, virtual reality without wires is a viable thing. The Quest has a lot of great games. You know, you can watch movies, you can do all sorts of great stuff, but, but, the hardware that is on board is limited as far as what big, bigger VR experiences will allow. And so for that, you need a more expensive headset, right? And you need a PC rig. But Oculus has just recently, I think it was, I think it was in November, released a patch for the Oculus Rift software on PC that allows you now to link your Oculus Quest to your PC and basically turn it into an Oculus Rift, only it looks better than Oculus Rift, I understand. Um, because the one thing that the Quest does have on the Rift is the actual fidelity of the screen, which is great. Um, and, you know, I'm new to this whole VR thing, and I've been playing around with it, and so I thought I'd, I thought I'd share with you guys how to, how to get this done, and then maybe show you what I consider to be the absolute coolest VR game in existence right now, which is Asgard's Wrath, which is a very, very, very cool game, I have to say. Now... This is not for this is not for cheap bastards, shall I say, or poor people. I'm sorry to call you a bastard if 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 you're not a bastard and you're just poor. Normally I'm I'm pretty poor myself, so you know, life is a funny thing. Um, but basically, what you're gonna need you're gonna need your Oculus Quest, if you can manage to get one because they're still really hard to find because of the holiday rush, but. I'm sure that'll be solved more or less soon enough. Um, and then you're going to need a USB Type-C type 3.0 cable um, that preferably has Type-C on one end and Type-A on the other, but it really depends on what you have on your PC. Um, and you're, you're going to need a, a PC gaming rig and you're going to need the Oculus soft now, software. Now, a word of warning about the Oculus software is it's a little bit glitchy. It doesn't really work with Windows as well as I'd like it to be. Setting up this whole procedure was kind of a pain in the ass. And again, if you if I, I looked online to, uh, for how this was done, and that was the story again and again and again, to try to get this to work can be a pain in the ass, but it, it does work if provided you have those those components together. And it's as simple as plugging in your headset into your computer via USB type C, yeah, 3.0 cable, so that it allows for data transfer as well as power. Um, and you fire up the Oculus software and provided everything is working, you got yourself a brand new Oculus Rift to go with your Oculus Quest. So that's basically all that is. But once you manage to do that, you really open up <laughs> what can be done with the Quest. Because like I said, provided you have a, a decent enough gaming rig, the experiences available to you out there are, are second to none. They're really, really great. And like I said, uh, Asgard's Wrath is perhaps the finest example of of that. So I thought I'd do like a little review of Asgard's Wrath um, at the same time as trying to trying to to you know explain how this whole process works. Asgard's Wrath is a first person action game. It's sword combat with a little bit of God mode mixed in. These VR experiences really love to do God mode, and it's cool. I mean. <coughs> I mean, you, you have a 3D, completely 360-degree 3D surroundings, and, you know, you have your sword, and you have your shield, and you've got these these cool animal minions that you actually pick up animals off the beach and infuse them with your god power and turn them into cool, like, like uh, helpers who always want to high-five you. I love high-fiving my turtle. Uh, by the way, that was not a masturbation reference. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, couldn't resist high-fiving, high-fiving your turtle. Anyhow, 
Asgard's Wrath is an incredible game. It's an incredible experience. Um, there are so many more virtual reality games out there that, that the Rift, the actual Oculus software for PC, uh, is capable of that the Quest just can't do. So I would say if you, if, you, if you have the means, and I know that's asking a lot of people, especially in this day and age, but if you have the means and you're super into really getting the best experience possible out of your new Quest... Um, yeah, man, all you need is that USB cable, and you've got yourself a pretty exceptional um, gaming experience that, that, just, that just will blow you away, man. Asgard's Wrath is great. There's all sorts of smaller games that I haven't even tried yet. There's all sorts of quote-unquote VR experiences that I haven't tried yet. VR really is... I don't know if it's the way... If, if it's the absolute way of the future, or if it's just the way of the future right now. Um, but, if you're, if you've been gaming 2D <laughs> your whole life, with a controller in your hand, or a mouse and keyboard in your hands, and you're doubtful of whether VR is great, it is, it's pretty cool. If you're doubtful of whether you're physically capable of doing it, because you know a lot of people have disabilities, a lot of people, a lot of people are just not as physically able as everybody else, and I kind of fall into that category. Okay, I'm not personally as physically able as a lot of people my age, and I'm only I'm only in my mid 30s, so, but I can do it, and um, I find it really really fun and really really enjoyable. Um, so that's it. That's all I, that's all I really got to say, uh, here on this video. If you, if you can get yourself a quest, if you, if you have a decent PC rig, try this out, man. It's really, really great because it really expands what the quest is capable of doing. Now, one word of warning, if you're going to try this out, don't cheap out and get it like a short six foot cable because you really do need the, the distance. You know, I mean, that's that's one of the problems with the Rift is that it's tied in. And I assume as they release further versions of the Quest, um, like I'm sure there's going to be another version either this year or next year. It's probably going to be this year, depending on how fast they want to spin out iterations. But... Um, you know, until such a time that the hardware on board these things can do exactly what a good PC can do, this is your best bet for finding the best virtual reality experiences. I don't know how. Asgard's Wrath, check it out. If I was going to do a real review, I'd give that shit a 9 out of 10, man. It's such a cool game. The sword combat is great. The, the, the voice acting and the world building... Matt Mercer from uh, from Critical Role <laughs> provides the voice of Loki because you play you play a Norse god. Um, great game. Once you can get all the hardware working, great great setup. I love my I love the Quest. I love Oculus. I really really do. I really I really commend them for what they've built here. So. Okay, everybody, until next time, like and subscribe to Jeff Bowl Central if you feel like it. If you don't, don't tell me about it. I don't want to know. Yes. Thank you. That was two words, <laughs> oh, look, by here's the way. Your book. Hey, look, here's my book. It's a good book. It is a good book. You, Why don't you advertise it to me as if I've never read it before? Oh, God, that's you put me on the okay, spot. Okay, time's a waste in care, care. You put me on the spot. Hey, this is a really good fantasy unrealistic book that is a series you got to give it a chance you got to be open to it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't advertise books yeah neither do i you should watch my videos <laughs> uh well thanks carrie for my advertisement it is a good book though Ooh, look, subscribe now <laughs>